This is the first video of a series of videos where I'm demonstrating this Google Sheet that will help you to automatically locate products on Amazon at other online stores, essentially, uh, effectively finding potential suppliers of those products, potential sources, and potential uh, profitable products to sell primarily for Amazon dropshipping and arbitrage. Again, this is just the first video in a whole series of videos because there are different parts to how the system works. So on my YouTube channel, you can see that I have playlists and these videos are assembled together in a playlist. I also will have links in the description of the video that can bring you to the next video so you know how to navigate through these videos. So first of all, uh, the first step in this is that I want to actually get the Google Sheet to where it will allow me to run scripts. So for instance, System Reset is a button that when you click on it, it just clears everything out that's on the sheet. Uh, if I try to click the system reset for the first time or any button on the sheet, it's going to say authorization is required. A script attached to this document needs your permission to run. Understand a script is just code. It's what allows this system to actually work. And many people write code and put it on Google Sheets. It's not anything special. There are many people who do this. But you have to provide authorization for a script to run, so you have to click continue. It's not going to just let it run. You have to select your account, click advanced. Don't worry about these messages and all of that. Um, you just click this link down here. You open that up, and you just say that you're going to allow it um, to run. By the way, this Google Sheet does not do any of the things that are here. It doesn't create and delete Google Sheets or do anything like that. It just it's just a Google Sheet that works inside of itself okay um, it doesn't do anything inside of your account it's just it's just a Google Sheet that works right here and finds products from Amazon um, with uh, product sources okay so now uh, the first step is that um, I might have said in another video this system this Google Sheet it does not connect to Amazon in any way or connect to the site so you are bringing the products to the sheet which are the titles the prices and the URLs at least if you use software there are more things you can bring to the sheet now I'm just gonna show you how to search products on Amazon and bring them in manually this is the free way to do it okay um, to get products in here completely free and first thing I will do is choose a category which is just home and kitchen and I will put a minus sign as my search term, meaning I'm not looking for any particular product. It's just a random search. And then once I do that, there's a free Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper that when you click it, it actually pulls the products. It'll put a red box around the products. Make sure it's around the products. If not, you can try use try another table. Once it is around the products, you can use this infinite scroll. You can turn it off and on to get it to change to locate next button. You will then click on locate next button and you scroll down and click on next. Once you click on next, you just go right back to the Chrome extension. Uh, it knows where the next button is now, so you can click on start crawling and it will go ahead and start crawling through the pages. Now it will go through and potentially pull all of the pages that are on the search results right now. However, I might not let it actually, in fact, I won't let it go all the way, but I will let it scrape a significant number of products. Right now I'm up to page 9, page 10. Now while I was doing that, I just want to say the purpose of this video is just to show you how to get the products from Amazon and then get them into the Google Sheet using this, uh, the free, you know, what I would call the manual uh, method of doing it using the Chrome extension. But there is also another software that can be used as well to get product data in here. And I will kind of make that like an offshoot separate video by itself to show how that's done. But for this beginning demonstration of the system, I want to use a method that I know everyone can use because that software is a paid software. So I'm showing the method that I know everyone can do right now without any kind of paid subscription. And so that is the idea of why I'm using this method with the Chrome extension to pull these products okay now what I'm going to do is go ahead and stop it right here 
it could keep going but i'm going to stop it um i've got 500 528 rows well it looks like it went a little further that's fine 552 i will now click on the csv button it's important to understand however um it does pull all of these uh different product links it's only going to pull off data uh, or things that are actually on the screen so it's pulling off what it sees titles uh, the image URL it does pull off some of this little stuff as well like stars and whatever little things it finds here uh, pieces it finds prices it pulls those things off okay so those have been downloaded to a spreadsheet it's in a spreadsheet format you don't need Excel because what we're going to do is we're going to bring it right in here now I uh, have I made a copy of this and I already had a CSV in here uh, if you just started you're not gonna most likely this is going to be blank okay um, so yours is gonna be blank so just excuse the fact that I already have data here um, in fact what I'll do is I'll just highlight this and delete it just so that it is blank because if you're doing this for the first time it's going to be blank as well so I'll just make sure that it's blank and all we're doing here is importing that um, Google Sheet into this sheet. Now, let's see. Okay, file import. It's very simple. Upload. Browse. And you're browsing your own computer. I've downloaded Amazon a few times, so you see a few different files. The most recent download should be the file up top. In this case, I click on open. And now, this here, uh, this is very important, the import location. You don't want to create a new spreadsheet. You're not importing it somewhere else, right? You don't want to insert a new sheet. You don't want to replace the whole. If you do replace spreadsheet, it means the whole file, the whole Google Sheet. Not that either. What you want is replace current sheet. Make sure you click on that. It's very important. Replace current sheet and then click import data. Once you click import data, that's going to put the data right into the sheet okay that puts the data right into the sheet now as you can see this data is very uh, important to understand the concept here um, this is a spreadsheet it has column headings these are called column headings and um, they look strange because they came straight out of the HTML of the web page okay these are HTML uh, uh, pieces here that we see as column headings so what I did is I made a columns map that connects these or associates these with what they are, the URL, the title, and the prices. So depending on different scrapes that you might do, you might have different maps. For here, we're just using an Amazon search. <coughs> Excuse me. We're just using an Amazon search. So being that we're just doing an Amazon search, I'm using the Amazon search map and then I will copy IDS data and that will copy that means in, instant data scraper I should mention that although I'm using I used uh, IDS IDS CSV IDS data technically it doesn't have to be from instant data scraper in order to work in fact you could just copy and paste the data here directly you don't even need to do that whole process I just did I'm doing that because I scraped it from a Chrome extension and so um, that's the way I'm doing it but technically just so that you know you could just copy and paste this data in here as well so it's just important to understand that these are just names but if you have another CSV where you just have URLs and you have titles and prices of products from another online store or uh, Amazon or whatever uh, well in this case it would be Amazon you can just put those in here as well right or copy and paste them in here okay so that is it that's how you get the data that's how you get the data from Amazon into the Google sheet that is the process that's it so the next part of the process is actually to start sourcing the sheet but I will um, separate that in another video just for the sake of keeping these videos at a good length so see the description of this video for a link to the next video where I will go ahead and show you how to do the uh, how to get it to start sourcing.